This video revises the concept of composite functions. And we've got two functions, f of x equals x minus 2, and g of x equals 3x squared, and we're asked to find g f of x. Now this notation means that our input x is being applied through two functions. And this can be visualised as function machines, where x is our initial input. And first of all, it's going through the function f. We read left ways. So f comes first of all. And the function f says whatever the input is, we take away 2. So whatever the input is, we take away 2. My input is x, so the output isn't x, the output is x, take away 2. And this becomes my new input, which is then put into the function g. And the next bit is the really important bit to understand. g says whatever the input, forget about x for the moment, Whatever the input is, we square the input and times that by 3. Now my input is no longer x, it's x minus 2. So my entire input is being squared. This is then being times by 3. So the output is my entire input is being squared. And this is then being multiplied by 3. And I think that's the key thing to think about, really, is almost ignore the letter x, and in the original definitions, think x stands for input, and that's the output. Now, that could be the answer. However, it might then ask us to expand and simplify. So, as a revision, to expand brackets like this, don't forget, we expand the x minus 2 squared, first of all, by looking at it as double brackets. And x times x is x squared. We get a minus 2x and another minus 2x, which is minus 4x. And then minus 2 times minus 2 goes to positive 4. There's a 3 here, which means that we've got to multiply this entire thing by 3. So 3 lots of this entire expression becomes 3x squared, take away 3 times 4 is 12x, 3 times 4 is 12. So we applied the functions, we got an expression for an answer, and then I expanded and simplified my final expression.